and Jacob. Nice to have you back here to tell us about your harp desk. This is actually the first time we're going to have a physical tool that we feature in the harp toolbox. And it's one of the first music maker products that I've seen on the internet because a lot of people use it. Tell us about the harp desk and how is it helpful for us? Well, it's a desk for a harp. I don't know if you can see it. <laughs> yes. Basically turns your pillar into the post. So you don't have to haul a separate music stand. Just just bring the harp desk and you're you're good to go all in one. Yeah, because one of the challenges I have found, because I use music stands, is A, it's awkward to place next to a harp with all the feet that's going on. And secondly, I can't really do this and this very <laughs> effectively when I'm trying to read. So having the music right in front of you is quite handy, isn't it? Definitely. So how does the harp desk work? There's two two wedges in here and it's cut like a dovetail so that they don't fall out and then it's adjustable so as the wedges move up or down it's different widths and then basically you get it to the width of the pillar of your harp and the weight of the desk and music itself helps clamp it even further because that's pushing this part down on the wedges so it fits on there, then it, it basically, it's clamped on there and it's cork. So the cork has a little bit of stickiness to it and it's soft, so it doesn't damage any wood. This will screw onto the uh, bracket, this bracket right here. Now this is made with a, a lightweight plywood with a cherry veneer on both sides. So this is lightweight, so uh, it's not as much weight on the instrument. So that you can adjust the height here, you know, with your pillar, uh, you can turn this and adjust the angle. Yeah, quite helpful. I mean, it gets it nice and close, so it's a, a straight line look at the music. They do fit most harps. You know, there are some cases where they don't. Some of our pillars have like a taper, um, so we uh, sand the cork a little bit to adjust the the taper, so they can be custom fit a little bit. If I'm remembering my numbers right, it's two and a quarter as the widest and then about an inch and three eighths is the, the narrowest set. Of, actually, you could go narrower too if you added some more cork to the wedges as well. So they they can be modified in certain ways to make them work for different things. And I, and some harps have the, uh, uh, the T-brace, like dusty strings. Um, so uh, there is ways to make it work on a dusty strings harp where instead of the bracket going on the outside of the uh, pillar it goes on the um inside like this it, it depends on where where it would fit on this side and then your t-bit price brace would be right there so if, if anybody wants they can call here and we can talk through and see if they have you know if it works for theirs but yes uh, when we go to somerset these are really popular <laughs> Yeah, um, I've seen a lot of them around. And I do believe in your website, you have uh, some information on sort of get, getting a good idea of whether or not the harp desk is going to fit your harp. Um, yeah. I think there's a video about that. So that would be pretty helpful. One of the question I see a lot about the harp desk from people is, is it going to bend <laughs> the column of my harp? They worry about the weight. And you mentioned oh, that it's pretty lightweight, right? The, the tension of your strings is probably hundreds if not thousands times more than the tension that the the weight of the book and this would be um so yeah that it, it would be more like uh how it feels for you as a player because it is gonna add some weight like if it's a really light harp or a really small harp you got your weight all out over here so it might make the harp feel a little bit balanced differently but as far as like damaging the harp your string tension like this harp is a thousand pounds of tension pulling that pillar. So um, yeah, it definitely would, it would have no bearing on the structure of the pillar. And then um, the cork, I don't know of anybody uh, mentioning to us uh, damage to their harp because of the harp desk. Um, so. And that's good to know because yeah, we often forget how much tension the instrument is already holding as it stands and like you said adding that extra little bit is not probably not going to make a huge difference in the yeah. grand scheme of things 
the two biggest things with the harp desk is a is it going to fit the harp and there are some harps that it won't quite work and then the second thing i think is really how it balances and that's more on the small harps maybe even the hybrid and depending on how heavy the book is would throw the balance off a little bit i've seen people use them on harpsicles but they don't look very comfortable <laughs> oh the other thing is like i've tried making a prototype for a uh, pedal harp and it was too far the pillar is too far away that <laughs> you needed the binoculars out to read the music so <laughs> So there was a limitation there, like if the pillar is really far away. Um, yeah, if you're thinking about it, just kind of imagine where your pillar is. And right. that's... Um, that makes sense, because, yeah, I have a pedal harp and there, that pillar, it's 10 miles away from my eyes. <laughs> and there is a kit version of the harp desk. Is it relatively easy to put together if we want to go for the kit? Yeah, I, I would say it requires some woodworking skills. Um, I wouldn't categorize it as an IKEA yeah, no, that's project probably or difficult good... than IKEA project. Um, and you know, like uh, aesthetics too. Um, that's usually I can tell a harp desk that was made uh, from a kit. That's the hardest part is you know getting them to look nice and taking the time to sand them and do a good finish. Mm -hmm. um, probably the more difficult part. And the hole in the front, if I remember correctly, you can actually pick. Um, uh, is it a yeah? So this one doesn't have there? a rose, doesn't have a rosette in it. So yeah. we leave them blank until somebody chooses the rosette. So yeah, and that's a nice way to customize your hub desk a little. Yeah. Bit. yeah. And where can we purchase the hub desk? Uh, on our website okay. at uh, harpkit.com. Probably Google harp desk music makers that would pull it up for. Awesome. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.